Welcome to Wonder Time! Today's wonder is called God can save anyone, which is also our word up for this week. God did an amazing thing through Saul. Stand up and tell me what Saul did. You're right! Saul used to persecute Christians by arresting them and putting them in prison for what they believed in or who they believed in, which is Jesus, our God's son, savior of our world. But Saul didn't believe that at first. Perhaps you have heard about groups of people who are very mean to Christians and persecuting them. If one of those people believed in Jesus and became a Christian instead of persecuting Christians, this would be big, huge news. Many people may wonder if the person has truly changed or if they're kind of pretending and playing a trick. This is how the Christians felt about Saul at first. Could they really trust him? Has he really met Jesus? Has, he, has his life really changed? We now know that the answer is yes. Saul's life was completely changed by Jesus. Saul believed believing in Jesus is actually a proof that the Bible is true and that Jesus is real. Only Jesus could make, take someone who was persecuting Christians and save him and change him. That was a dramatic change. After he believed, Saul was willing to suffer and even die for Jesus. Only Jesus could make that change and that's huge. Perhaps there's someone you can think of who doesn't know Jesus. Maybe it's someone you see on TV or you know in your life. You can't imagine that person ever changing and ever believing in Jesus. You're like, it's just impossible. That person does not believe in Jesus no matter how many times I tell them about him. Well, Saul's story tells us that God still can save anyone. We just have to be patient and we have to pray and you know it's not by our own strength there's sometimes there's nothing we can say or do that's going to change someone's heart so we have to trust that god is working and that god's plan is good and that it's all in his timing the gospel can change people's life and into a totally different direction from what it used to be before those cha changed lives are good evidence that the Bible is true and that Jesus is real. So during your quiet time this week, I want you to think of someone and pray for them. Pray that their life would change and that God will speak to them and that their hearts will be open to hearing God and Jesus's voice. You know, before I truly started walking with God and walking with Jesus, my life was different too. I was hopeless. I didn't really have a future and I was, you know, really sad. But now that I know Jesus and I know that God is a good, good father, I am always hopeful and joyful in my life. 